Quit moving around so much, bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah! I got it! I got it! Hello? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweat box. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes I do. Well, it's gotta be somewhere in this room. One of these days we're gonna finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. I think Hubert could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. Last month's donuts. Don't throw that out. I'm saving it for a science experiment. You bet, little buddy. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. No comment. Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never gonna look at again? Ah, yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. Twenty years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. Aha! Oh, there it is! Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. So what? So, the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. Yoo-hoo! Tiny hoodlums! Leave the cheese by the hole! Apart from the holes, I don't think it looks much like Swiss cheese. I'd rather punch other things. Max, you ever hear of the term tough love? It's the only kind of love I know! We'd really better not leave until we've taken care of this Swiss cheese ransom the phone deal. Remember our trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quiet at times. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Nah. They say graffiti is the po Just what we need. More lame poetry. Two thousand two was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then.
someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me! Which is why I haven't tried it. We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. Hey, Max. When is it, Sam? You bought all that cheese and not one block of Swiss? I don't like Swiss. It's got holes in it. You get less for your money. Who do you think that was on the phone? Maybe it was the governor calling about my plan to secede from the Union. I wish we hadn't missed that call. It might have been the commissioner calling with a case. Yeah, hey, or maybe it was the president about my idea to do daylight savings time in five minute increments. Oh, I feel so all alone because some crook has swiped my phone. Rodent or rodents unknown. Where's my banjo, Max? I've hidden it for the good of society. Does it feel drafty in here to you? Hey, you're the one with clothes on. Do you ever wonder what life would be like if we were bugs? Sure, I hope. Although I've always wanted to have more arms. Some days I can feel the atmosphere pushing on my head like a giant thumb. Some days I hide weights in your hat to see if you'll notice. Does it feel drafty in here to you? Hey, you're the one with clothes on. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more. Still doesn't look like Swiss cheese to me. Where's the rest of the news collection, Max? It's a surprise! Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? Yoo-hoo! Tiny hoodlums! Leave the cheese by the hole! Take that, you law-breaking dairy products! Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. Voila! Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila! Greetings! The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. We've met your demands, we got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I could take care of myself. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I could take care of myself. I'm about ready to wring your scrawny, trash-eating neck! You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or when I last washed them. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? Hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. Me 
Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't afraid of no cats. Can I go now? Hand over the phone or I'll make you lick my German crusted palms. Yeah, yeah, I've licked worse. Like what? You don't even want to know, amateurs. I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry. Hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. Maybe I'll lock you in our file cabinet. So? In three separate drawers. You bore me. Can I go now? Let me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. Yeah, yeah, I'm shaking like bacon here, amateurs. You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Lights too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! Ah, oh, for the love of... I wish I could unsee that. Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance! Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry! Say there, unfashionably dressed street urchin. Oh, you made me mess up! Now I have to start all over. Yowzers, you are one ugly kid. Hey, I know you! Oh, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that old TV show about the singing soda jerks. It's called the Soda Poppers, and the 70s are not old. Specs, it's you! Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood! This is great! Boy, you sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. I'm still famous. Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. Well, we're really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. Say, how about an autograph for my pal? You can sign my butt! Make it out to Squinky! I don't sign butts anymore. People get ticklish and they move and it gets all messed up. I'll risk it! Sorry, I can't stop painting. This has to be perfect. What was that catchphrase you used to say on your show? It was like, you messed me up, or something like that. Huh. You made me mess up. Which you just did, thanks a lot. Oh, yeah! So, Specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light in my life, and his name is Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. Ibo sounds like an electronic archery toy. Ibo is the truly visionary ocular fitness program. Try the video today.
Where can I find a copy of the video? They carry them over at Bosco's. You should get it. Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's eyeball. So Specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes, I have a new light in my life and his name is Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's Ibo. Didn't I see you on an episode of Celebrity Slap Fight? I was desperate. I was heavy into three ring binders at the time and I needed the money. You got your clock cleaned by that lady from Old and in the Way. Never saw that walker coming. Well, that's nice. Tell me something about that trendy modern street art you're perpetrating. What about it? How did you select your subject matter? He looks like a fried egg. It's Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. I'd rather try a fried egg. Where can I find a copy of the video? They carry them over at Bosco's. You should get it. Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's Ibo. Are you aware that vandalism is illegal? And worse, unoriginal. We like to punish people who do it who aren't us. How could this be vandalism? Everyone loves Brady culture. Is the paint supposed to go outside the lines like that? What? No! Where? <laughs> I'm just pulling your dwarfish leg, my friend. Don't do that! Well, we'll leave you to it. Okay, but you have to agree to paint me next! Sorry, I only paint Brady culture. Max, you've got the TV schedule memorized. What was the soda poppers going to be featured on one of those grim celebrity tell-alls today? Oh yeah, on channel 173, the Child Star Exposé Network, which we only get when it's convenient. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry! I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. Whee! Looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. It takes me back to my childhood. Hmm. It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. Hey, a can of spray paint, and it's not even empty. Rush! Sweet carbonated beverages in a pig trough. He's gone. Who would have thought such tiny legs could move so fast? Wow. Y you made me mess up. I don't want to get into a paint fight in my good suit. Hey, Specs. Let's talk some more about your, uh, artwork. What about it? Do you live to paint, or do you paint to live? I don't know why I do it. I just have to paint. Is, is this art, or is it advertising? I, I, I'm not... Is, is there really any difference? Good point, little buddy. Did you take lessons to learn how to do that? No, it just came to me one morning. This morning, in fact. 
Max, Max is that a fly in the paint there? What? No! Where? <laughs> Just kidding again. And people wonder why I need therapy. Well, we'll lead you to it. But you have to agree to paint me next! Sorry, I only paint with lady culture. Where are we going, Sam? Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! By the way, Sam, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I don't think you did mention that. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Already planning on it, little buddy.
wheel, little buddy. With pleasure! Please accept my condolences for your taillight. Sam 1, taillight 0. Attention fellow drivers, if for any reason we need to address you, we'll indicate it simply by crashing into the back of your vehicle. Thank you! If I didn't know better, I'd say somebody tried that already. Caffeine rush! He always sees us coming. You made me mess up! Rush! He, he always sees us coming. You made me mess up! They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need! More lame poetry! This could use a little improvement. Hey, 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 hey! You messed it up! Oh, now I've gotta fix it, Brain Freeze! This could use a little improvement. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't mess with my painting! Now I've gotta fix it all up. I think he missed a spot here. Excuse me! I thought I said not to mess with my painting. I think he missed a spot here. What's the matter with you? Are you crazy? Step aside, brain freeze. This guy's good use a little improvement. Hey, hey, hey! You 
You messed it up. Oh, now I've got to fix it, Rain Tree. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible, you oh. called? It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? Well, what's the problem? It's a terrorist! A munchkin terrorist! He'll, he'll be the death of us all! Where is this little fusion agitator? Are you blind? He's right there! Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Isn't he the one with the black ladder control issues? Yeah, where's her? He's a former child star? Oh, just, just lock him up and throw it in jail. One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. And you should take a few yourself! How can I be calm with, with those bunch of cameras in my store? Exactly what is the nature of wizards? Malfeasance. These delivering videos I didn't even order. Radio coaches, I bo. But what is that? Uh oh, so something bad. I can't tell you that. Videos. And, and look at that display. It's subversive. It hideous. I, I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. I hear that. Any, any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unlady videos in your store? Think about it. No, no individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. It, it, it makes no sense. I, I smell a conspiracy. I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. No, it, it's definitely a conspiracy. Have you actually witnessed this Ivo video with your own eyes? O only a fool would watch a strange video. Y you watch it. Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes. He keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think I know. So, so we've got an unwanted video dumper and a serial leak taker. <laughs> Not even a National Guard can help us now. What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, if they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, the aliens, sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, headlights, lint, pastrami, hairspray. Just stop right there. Hairspray, hairspray had no part in this. Oh, sure. That's what you'd like to believe. So all this wizard character's doing is delivering videos. And abusing his bathroom privileges. That, that's it? Did he steal any of your overpriced merchandise, or at least try to disembowel you with a sharpened spork? No, no way! I've got B-Tads, the single most technologically advanced security system ever conceived by the human mind. B-Tads? Is that one of those acronym things I've been hearing so much about? Yep. Bosco Tech Automated Defense System. I, I made it myself. Wow, I always wanted to automate my defense. How does it work? Well, just pull a weapon. You'll see. Or I'll try to walk out of here with some. Go ahead. I dare you. Maybe we will. At, at the risk of sounding callous, how come your fancy pants defense system can't even stop small ladder boy over here? It was designed to keep people from taking stuff out of the store, not, not from bringing it in. All right. A rare case of reverse shoplifting. Shop dropping. Yes, I suppose so. I'm sorry, what was your problem again? My problem is the police on my case have apparently been attacked by, by brain-stealing aliens! <laughs> you have been attacked by brain-stealing aliens, haven't you? No, 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 only yanking your chain, compadre. Wizard, dumping videos, taking nothing but leaks. I got it! I'm sorry, what was your problem again? <laughs> Wizard, dumping videos, taking nothing but leaks. Got it! I'm sorry, what was your problem again? Hmm. 
Whizzer! Dump dumping videos, taking nothing but leaks. Got, got it! I think we got it. Okay, anything else? We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By, by patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not unmock you. He probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I, I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. So, what do you, you want to buy? Do you have any weasels on this stick? Nope. Nothing for us right now. Oh, okay. Nice, nice place you got here. What's, what's so nice about it? Zosto's Inconvenience. Nice name. It's, it's true. It really is inconvenient. Who well, thanks. That's right. How do you get out of that cage anyway? Uh, that's for me to know and you never find out. What's with the maximum security prison motif? You've been robbed as many times as I have. You do the same. I've never been robbed, actually. But then I typically point a large firearm at anyone who approaches me. You, you crack me up, little buddy. What were we talking about? We'll chat more later, Bosco, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pie-sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all! Well, it is on a special. And we are running dangerously low! One dollar lottery tickets. Two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already! One dollar lottery tickets. Two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already! One, one. Oh! Oh! Did you see that? Oh, yeah! Attention shoppers, the, the sheep is aimed for free. Sam? Sam? Are you dead? It's early to tell. No one steals from Bosco. An honest but excruciatingly painful mistake. He does look a little like a bowling pin, doesn't he? Uh-uh. Why would I freeze that? Public restrooms are unholy temples to all things unsanitary. I wouldn't go in there for all the TNT landia. Gates. I, I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. And incur the wrath of Bosco? I don't think so. Hey there, Mr. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard. And so do my enemies. And lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizard. What exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. What, what's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's eyeball is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And, and what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture is a genius, and his eyeball program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And, and what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture is a genius, and his eyeball program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. 
what, what can you tell me about IBO? IBO is a revolutionary new program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. You, you can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see through walls and clothing. What if I don't wear clothing? You gotta watch this tape. It changed my life. Well, don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I, chop liver? Oh, right. Sorry. Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The, the word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment and, and ocular fitness. Hmm. Who exactly is this Brady culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture is a genius, and his eyeball program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why do people use that word more often? And, and should you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. Well, that's nice. What is? Are you aware that you're breaking the law? Come on, guys! There's no law against giving away free stuff! Unlawful deliveries are punishable under Section 9, Article 7, Title 11 of the Personal, Private, Public, Professional Conduct Penal Code. You, you made that up. True, but, but we could write him up for littering, trespassing, and disturbing the peace. I have to deliver these videos! Boy, what am I not annoyed? Can we arrest him now? In a minute, little buddy. Put your hands on your head. You're, you're under arrest. Aw, oh, come on! It's a free country! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who told you that? This, this guy's suffering from some pretty severe delusions. My cousin's wife, Stavis, loves your show. Oh, yeah! We've always been a big hit with the dentists. Gee, I wonder why. Hey, kids, also soda like the soda poppers, and you'll need so much expensive dental work, you can kiss college goodbye! Max, your unbridled cynicism is like a breath of fresh air on a crowded subway. Any chance we could get you to sing a song from your old show? Yeah, the theme song! What was it called? It was called More Than Jerks! But I can't sing it! I'm too embarrassed! How about an autograph for my pal, Max? You, you could write, To Max! Thanks for saving my life that time in San Remo! Hey, I don't really have time! I've got a lot more videos to deliver! No, no time? Don't they give you bathroom breaks? Sure, but I don't sign autographs in there anymore. There was an incident. Didn't I see you on a TV commercial a while back? Yeah, what was it? A bowl cleanser? Adult diapers? Erectile dysfunction? All three! Are you anything like a character you played on the TV show? Yeah, like, like do you really have to hit the John every five minutes? Sometimes every three minutes. It's like having a superpower. Oh, well, that's nice. That is. If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. Ooh. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Clean up on aisle three. You, you okay, Sam? I'll, I'll need a new skull, but otherwise, no complaints. Uh, Oscos is a gun-free zone. Gun-free? Tosatro was right. Pur Purgatory really is a convenience store. D don't make me laugh, little buddy. J jiggles my sensitive cranium. I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men! Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on! Maybe another time. Nachos. They're mine, nachos! Ketchup, mustard, and... purple stuff. As, as vaguely referred to on TV!
say Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Nothing like a guy full of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. What do we have here? Or Gordon Trader? Self loading weekly? Oh, let me see that! And the Correa Wrath of Bosco? I don't really think so. Let me show you something. Don't come any closer. Let me show you something. Don't don't come any closer. Okay, okay Mac, we want this cheese. Okay, send Andy G's background check. I need to see at least six forms of ID, a valid federal cheese license, a completed Oregon donor card, a written release signed in the presence of a notary public, and your school report cards from the ninth and twelfth grades. That that's pretty inconvenient. It's okay, Sam. I, I can be brave. We'll just have to struggle cheeselessly onward. No thanks. I brought my lunch today. Free videos? Don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's IBO for Ocular Fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What's so revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing, roll your eyes at lightning speed, lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Oh good! I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel coated sugar logs! Fun! Uh-oh! Time out for number one! If you really love someone, give them the gift of cheese. Oh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets it! What the? Time out for number one! We're saved! That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining either way. <laughs> oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> classic. Just classic. I mean, wait. My evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. Mwahahaha! Uh, it's still not quite right. Mwahahaha! Uh. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh. I don't want to wake him up. On this week's edition of Oh, Is He Still Alive? We look at the stars of the 1970s television hit, The Soda Poppers. I love shows that destroy all our cherished delusions about the stars we once loved.
During the soda poppers' heyday, young Spex was the role model for obsessive neat freaks all over the globe. Ticker tape free, ticker tape parades were thrown in honor of the soda popper who never missed a spot. Backstage, though, things were quite a bit dirtier. Spex's obsession with perfection caused massive delays in shooting and infuriated co workers. He famously demanded over 11,000 retakes of the line, You made me mess up! made all the more annoying because of his tendency to repeat the line immediately after reading it. Following the show, Spex was rarely seen in public, although he did make one ill-fated venture into celebrity tag team mud wrestling, getting pinned in a record three seconds as he desperately tried to wipe down the ring with a dish rag. The meltdown utterly enraged his tag team partner and good friend, the dog from My Mother the Dog, who stormed out of the arena without a word. They haven't spoken since. Coming up next, the soda popper who couldn't always keep it in. I think he missed a spot here. What are you doing? Don't mess with my paintings! Now I've got to fix it all up. Can you believe we get paid for this? I love this country. You made me mess up. <laughs> now this is quality television. Except, hold on. My evil plan is in jeopardy. Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> better, better. Well, we've admired our handiwork long enough. Maybe just one more second? Okay, let's go. You'll be out for a good while. Where are we going, Sam? Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! People of Earth, we come in peace! Just kidding, prepare to die! <laughs> hey, you front-ended us! I could do this all day. Please accept my condolences for your taillight. This is your first and final warning. Pull over or die! Hello, we're freelance police. And you're not! Ergo, we call the shots around here. Oh, why did you stop me? Your taillight's busted. But you're the ones who broke it! Your point being... Hmm, what's the fine for a broken taillight? Why, isn't it $10,000? What? Are you crazy? Uh, oh, one moment. Allow me to confer with my legal counsel. <laughs> uh, my attorney has advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some accounting to do. Thanks, sucker!
there? Girl, it's just you. We want to buy something. Ah, what you got your eye on? What have you got? Well, I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh yeah, cheese! I want that! And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something. I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh yeah, I really want that! Well, it's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out any room in no time guaranteed. I feel really close to you right now. We got your tear gas money right here. Really? Well, all right, here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Now put that away before someone gets hurt. What do you mean? The 10000 just cover the cost of materials, you know? Oh, I'm sure. It's okay, everybody. I'm all right. Okay, hey, Max, ready for that ocular workout? No, stop! We don't have any popcorn. Sweet alligator dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That was close. Quick, before it starts. Hello, I'm Brady Culture. You may remember me from Culture's Clubhouse, the massive worldwide television hit that ran for six episodes in 1970. Hmm. What you are about to see will change your life forever. So watch closely. Now listen up, you tasteless Philistines! You love me. You adore me. You want to name all your children after me. I love you. I adore you. I want to name all my children after you. Sam, look! Ocular fitness, my eye. That videotape hypnotized Jimmy Two Teeth. I think I like him better this way. We've got to find this Brady culture and stop him before he hypnotizes every consumer of cheap self-help videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Only if you keep it on a leash. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more! You look like you could use some therapy! Not from a wide-eyed circus freak like you- Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Me? Right, you're, uh... Peepers! I don't know what you're talking about! My name is Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist! How about a little analysis? Certainly! Tell me what's bothering you. I've been feeling less frisky than usual. You might try Brady Culture's Ivo video. 
That'll put a spring in your step. Your eyes, too! Ibo? Yes, my runny, poached, egg-like eyes could use a workout. You won't regret it! Have you got a copy of this cockamamie video? I'm all out, but they probably still got a truckload or two over at Bosco's! Enough said. Are you sure your name is Sybil, not Peepers? Absolutely! Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist! That's me! He's trying to pull a fast one, Sam! Where's your gun? Violence is not the answer! Since when? Sam, we're dealing with a dangerously delusional psychotic here! Obviously. Sybil's normally a girl's name, isn't it? Must have been tough while you were growing up! Why do you think I became a licensed psychotherapist? Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure! Thank God! I've been locked in that closet so long I was starting to invent life stories for the mothballs! I've got to sit down. Oh my God! He's still here? Call a cop! You're in luck, ma'am. Sam and Max. We're freelance police. Civil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist, nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately! But he's my pal. You're friends with that overgrown sociopathic child? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant this overgrown sociopathic child. I thought psychotherapists didn't use words like lunatic. Really? Does it say that in the handbook? The psychotherapist's handbook or the lunatic's handbook? There's a difference? What's the charge? Assault! Kidnapping! Identity theft! Those are good charges. Some of my favorites! And what about mopery? He locked me in the closet, and he's been pretending he's me! Gadzooks! Why? Well, these cases can be very complicated and delicate. There may be repressed feelings of inadequate transference, or latent unwarranted hypochondriac Freudianism. Come again? He's a complete whack job. Although, actually, now that I look closely, I think he's been hypnotized. Great thundering jellyfish on the squishy road to mayhem. Hypnosis. Yep, that's what I said. How can you tell? He looks so normal and lifelike. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. It takes a professional eye. Can we borrow your eye? We'll bring it back. Are there steps we can take? Soothing music, or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? Shock treatment! Shock treatment! Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Knock them unconscious! Now you're talking! I can demonstrate on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. Consider it done! Whoa! Where'd he go? Hey, there he is! You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. Oh, Sybil? Yes? Uh, the other Sybil. What is that? Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. No! <laughs> but it will make you cry! Please, Sam, allow me! Now, Peepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Just kidding. It'll definitely hurt you more. Sweet dreams, peeps! I can see you! <laughs> oh my, that was great. That was great. Wait a second. My evil plan is in ruins! The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me! Rue the day, I say! <laughs> nice work, you two. Now I can try to bring him out of his hypnotic state. Take control of your mind! I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. Minor detail. 
Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control. What? Hey, what am I doing here? What's going on? Sybil? My name's not Sybil. It's Peepers. Oh, yes, it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I've got a bit of a headache. I had the weirdest dream. And there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Yes, Brady Culture was there. He kept telling me to do stuff. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew it. That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, what's the last thing you can remember? I remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. He has his own nut house? Wow, we gotta meet this guy. Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, it's very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal. But we need to find it so we can stop the madness, in a manner of speaking. I want to help, but I just can't remember where it is. Oh. But my brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? Nothing a simple exorcism can fix. Oh, dear. <laughs> Hey, Doc. Hey, Sam. Thanks for taking care of that wacko. I wish there was some way I could repay you. Have you got ten grand? I'm new at this. I have a lot of student loans. Great! Loan us a student! I can ride it around like a pony! It's nice to see you show such enthusiasm. Security. Max might like a tattoo. Oh yeah! I want a map of the Netherlands on my Netherlands. I get the cold shivers just thinking about remembering hearing you say that. I'm out of the tattoo business anyway. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. Can you fix cars? Ours sometimes makes a noise like an orangutan with the dry heaves. Um, that's my fault. I've been keeping an orangutan in the trunk. Oh, never mind. I'm not much of a mechanic anyway. Except with unicycles. I suppose you could psychoanalyze me. Hey, yeah, I could count your marbles for you. I have a license, you know. Will this be painful? Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple things we can try. We could look at some ink blots. We could try some free association. I could interpret your dreams for you. How do ink blots work? And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures, and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal things like obsessions or uh, obsessions. Take a look at this, and tell me what you see. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Interesting. Now, how about this one? The St. Valentine's Day Massacre. And this? My Uncle Louie's moth-eaten wallet. Now this one. What do you see? Twenty nuns with machine guns out for vengeance. And this one? A war between two teams of abstract shapes. You seem fairly focused on violence. But it's probably nothing to worry about. Thanks, Doc. Can we do some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. Sure. Let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. A pair of oxen boxing in a rowboat. Good, okay. Now, how about this one? An SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. And this?
A squirrel that got run over twice. Now this one. What do you see? A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. And this one? A debit card fed through a document shredder. Hmm. Your responses are kind of all over the map. I can't tell a whole lot from them. Sorry. Thanks, Doc. Actually, let's save the psychoanalysis for later. Hmm. Postponing responsibilities. Interesting. Take control of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby! Wha what's going on? Why is my outfit all wrinkled? He's back. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's 227-something. Wizard would remember the street. He always does the driving. Can you take us there? Are you kidding? I've got hours, hours of ironing to do. Well, that was helpful. Boy, the security system in here is something else. I'll say. I'm glad I don't have pockets. I'll let you get back to your shopping. Or whatever it was you were doing. Sometimes it's best not to ask. Take control of your mind. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Nicely done, Sam. You're a natural. Oh. Where am I? Who are you? Don't worry, we're freelance police. Police? Oh no! He's getting away in that truck! Quick, follow that soda popper. Hurry, Sam! He's getting away! Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure! Watch out! Got him. Yes! Don't shoot! Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? Except for the obvious sport value, of course. It's just... You always see cops on the news beating up some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh. Why didn't you say so? It's right over there! Across the street! Jumping elephant fleas! How devilishly convenient! Thanks. Um, does anyone know where I can find a bathroom? Looks like a shifty character to me. Don't they all? Hmm. It says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, violent reactions to hairstyling, 
and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Forsooth! You don't even know what that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically literate. Locked. Whee! Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm, interesting. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with fame, violent reactions to hairstyling, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Hey, I know! I could psychoanalyze you! Can we do some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. Sure. Let's take another look at your unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. Susan Lucci holding an Emmy. I see. Now, how about this one? Pigeons on the marquee at Man's Chinese Theater. And this? An autograph written in Braille. Now this one, what do you see? A cheering crowd of lanky albinos. And this one? That blotchy thing that a flashbulb does to your eyes. Well, your choices indicate an obsession with fame. That's one of the indicators of artificial personality disorder. I'd better make a note on your chart. Very interesting. We should test you for the other symptoms of APD. Whatever you say, Sawbones. I'm not a Sawbones. I'm a psychotherapist. Tomato, tomato. Hey, I'm getting hungry. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Fire away, Grizzly. Lug nut. Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. Trigger word induces grizzly memory in subject. Possibility of Finfelter syndrome. Fluoride. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. I feel strangely like punching something. Really? Hmm, 
violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Teasing. Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. Trigger word induces grisly memory in subject. Possibility of Finfelter syndrome. Well, this has been illuminating. Am I sane? The jury's still out. Your reactions didn't tell me anything conclusive. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to hairstyling. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Use your gun! Ready? Ready as a rooster taking a bath in barbecue sauce. Interesting choice of words. How about pastiche? <laughs> That's not a word, is it? Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. Trigger word induces grisly memory in subject. Possibility of Finfelter syndrome. Polish. Word to the wise. Never put your tongue on a cactus. Or vice versa. Trigger word causes strange culinary impulses. Possible organic malaise fixation. Shampoo. Shoot! Violent reaction! Violent reaction! You should see him at Thanksgiving! Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Well, this has been illuminating. Yes? Your responses lead me to believe that you have an unusually violent reaction to hairstyling. You should see him at the podiatrists! It could be symptomatic of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark this on your chart. You have two of the symptoms listed on this form. Am I deranged? I don't want to alarm you, but probably. Can I have your hat when they commit you? Sure, little buddy. I'd like to tell you about another mundane but strangely compelling dream I had. All right, let's examine your disturbing subconscious desires a bit further. Okay, tell me what happened. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? It was Bosco, from the Inconvenience Store. Ah yes, you go to him when you need things. Yes, he represents your father. Bosco's my daddy? Uh, symbolically, yes. Literally, I sure hope not. In your dream, was Bosco doing anything peculiar? He did say something rather unexpected. I may not show it much, but I love you, Sam. Now go wash my car! Yes, that's just what I expected. Nothing unusual there. I noticed something odd on the dartboard. What was the target? There was nothing on it, actually. Oh, nothing to shoot for, huh? I see, I see. I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Ah, something you're ashamed of. What was it? As a matter of fact, the closet was bare. Totally shameless, then. Can't say I'm surprised. I noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. 
Something bothersome. What was it? It was that staple office knick-knack, the clacking balls. Not unlike the ones on your desk. Oh, do you not like the balls? No, Sybil, I don't like the balls. Well... I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Ah, something you're ashamed of. What was it? A whole stack of lottery tickets. Interesting. Perhaps you feel you don't really earn your money. Don't worry, lady. We get paid to crack skulls. And by that measure, we ought to be millionaires. I had just gotten something new from the bakery. For a celebration, perhaps? What did you get? It was an overly frosted birthday cake. Hmm, someone's another year closer to the grave, eh? I had just gotten something new from the bakery. For a celebration, perhaps? What did you get? It was a cheesecake. And I mean literally, a piece of cheese in a cake. What does that represent? No, that doesn't mean anything. It's just random nonsense. I had just gotten something new from the bakery. For a celebration, perhaps? What did you get? It was a fruit cake. A fruit cake? Hmm. The fruit cake uh, commemorates the day when your loved ones finally cart you off to the funny farm. Then you can be sure to expect a fruit cake from me, lady. I noticed something odd on the dartboard. What was the target? It was a beautiful picture of a toilet brush. Mmm, Freud warned of this. Tell me, Sam, do you take pleasure in moving your own bowels? I take pleasure in moving others! I noticed something odd on the dartboard. What was the target? It was a psychotherapy diploma. Interesting. Do you secretly want to become a therapist? No, I publicly want to become a therapist. <laughs> oh, you kidder. Please, try to be serious. I noticed something odd on the dartboard. What was the target? It was a garish tattoo. Wow! Wow. That is so deep. In other words, you don't know what it means. No. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? It was Max. Ah, yes, your imaginary friend. Excuse me, I'm standing right next to you, lady. In your dream, was Max doing anything unusual? Well, he was saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the tune of Camptown Races. I pledge allegiance to my gun, doo-da, doo-da. But that's not unusual. I had just gotten something new from the bakery. For a celebration, perhaps? What did you get? It was an overly frosted birthday cake. Wait a second. The birthday cake, your friend... You subconsciously want to see your peers get older. I could have told you that. This is a definite symptom of artificial personality disorder. Yes. I mean, I hope it's not serious. I'd better mark this on your chart. It must be artificial personality disorder. You've got all the signs. I bet I can get a paper out of this. Best ship me off to some sort of home for former child stars, then. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own transportation. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. Since you're crazy, can I drive? Jumping vehicular homicide, no.
Where are we going, Sam? Back to Brady Culture's home for former child stars. Oh, okay. Come on, little buddy. There's justice to be served. Can we get ice cream afterwards? Justice makes me hungry. This reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. Sounds like a million laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? Pulchritude above doubts. This is Culture's Clubhouse. Jumping Lon Chaney in a boffo fright wig. Brady Culture, I presume? You know who I am? Wow! Evil plans really do work. Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The Freelance Police are here. Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Really? Next time, try leaving the front door open. Save us all some grief. Allow me to explain. <coughs> Uh-oh. I think we just triggered a soliloquy. Good thing I have the attention span of a pint of yak butter. I never wanted much. Just to be universally loved, that's all. And to be number one in the TV ratings for the 1971 fall season. But no! Those worthless hacks, the soda puppies, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles. They came on opposite me and stole my audience! I was never offered another role. And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor, down-on-his-luck actor mass-hypnotize the entire viewing public to become his worshipful fans forever! How cruel. Is it over? I think so. So? Whoops. Since you've ruined the beautiful irony of having my arch rivals run my promotional campaign, I'm afraid you'll just have to take their places. In your dreams, culture! No, my friends. In yours. Hey, that tickles! Become... Video Delivery Man. What? What's happening? Oh no. Oh no! What are you doing? I, I don't know. I... You were in on it all along! I told you it was a conspiracy! I told you! But then you already knew, didn't you? No, Bosco. I must deliver videos. Call the CIA! Call Interpol! Call Mickey Rooney! Must deliver Mickey Rooney videos. Ah! Oh, don't even try. I love that part. Uh-oh. Either I just walked into the Salvador Dali Memorial Wax Museum, or I'm dreaming. You love me. You adore me. Become... Video Delivery Man. Do my evil bidding and so forth. <laughs> Holy brains in a blender. I'm still hypnotized. If only I could remember what Sybil told me to do. Destroy the intruder in your dream. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sam, I'm up here. Oh, hi, little buddy. 
Brady stole my body. I hate when people do that. You gotta get me down from here. Okay, little guy, I'll save you. I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. What? No! Oh, that Brady culture. He turns the world off with his smile. Whoa! Gotcha! Yay! <laughs> oh, Mr. Culture, I have a surprise for you. Really? For me? No! <laughs> oh, my. Thanks, Sam. A little stringy, but good. Oh, I just remembered. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Bye, Max. I will be number one in the raid. Hey, Brady Cheese. What is it, fool? I'd like to introduce you to a little friend of mine. No, the cheese must stand alone. And another one bites the cheese. I will be you. Wonder what would happen to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. No! I must be on TV for all eternity! No! Oh yes, that's much better reception. Oh, uh. oh no! He's awake! We're done for! Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm alright. Hmm. I was merely the victim of your garden variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Okay, but what about your co-conspirator? My co-conspirator? Holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind freighter! That hirsute egomaniac kidnapped my little buddy! Any idea how I can curtail this culture crisis? Brady culture. Ibo man. Huh, stay away from him. He's got it in for me. Sorry, Bosco. No can do. I've got to save my furry little pal. I don't suppose you have a Bosco Tech device that stymies hypnosis-inducing energy beams? Oh, a, a hypnosis blocker? Yeah, I thought about making one of those, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. I've got to find something, quick. Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud. Doc! Max is gone! Well, most of us outgrow our imaginary friends eventually. No! That megalomaniac Brady Culture's got him! I see. Of course. I've got to find some way to block a hypnotic ray. I don't suppose you, as a brain specialist of sorts, would know anything. Uh... <laughs> Great suffering lab rats, you do know something. Out with it, before my synapses fuse into a milky puddle of slag. Well, it's a gross breach of doctor-patient privilege for me to even tell you about it. But one of my more technologically inclined patients drew me a diagram of a contraption he claimed will block hypnosis. That's just the sort of ridiculously lucky break I need. It's a huge violation of every reasonable code of ethical conduct, of course, but you being a policeman of sorts, I suppose it's okay to give you the diagram. Hmm, my lack of solid engineering background has finally caught up with me. I can't make any sense of this. 
I'd love to help, but engineering is one of the few fields I haven't tried. Sorry. Max isn't going to like it when he finds out I ruined our reception. I've got to tell him as soon as possible. Bosco, take a gander at this. What is it? A death threat? Even better. It's instructions for the latest in Bosco tech innovation. Hmm. Well, let's see. A colon of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can build this. Just need one thing. What's that? Something for that antenna thing at the top. Antenna. Got it. Will a make-do antenna do as a make-do antenna? Yeah, okay. Let me just add a little Bosco Tech Innovation. And here it is! The most sophisticated hypnosis blocking helmet the world has ever seen! Happy days are here again. Uh-oh, it seems like the old moolah gauge is running on empty. Ah, take it. Just stop that Brady culture. He's got it in for me. You're a credit to dementia, Bosco. You'll have to pay for the next one, though. I'm coming, Max. Rule number three. Always wear protective headgear when confronting diabolical villains with hypnotic devices. Hand over the Lagomorph culture. Sam! Boy, am I glad to see you. Johann Sebastian here only knows how to play one song. What's this, a rerun? Didn't we just see the dog getting hypnotized episode? <laughs> well, if you really want to watch it again... What? Another triumph for skanky ingenuity and ordinary kitchenware. Give it up, culture. Your quiche is cooked. Time out for the cavalry! You've colored outside the lines of the law, Brady culture. We see you, and this time we're... Going to get hypnotized again. <laughs> I'm sure you all remember the commands I taught you. So now, my foolish pawns, attack the dog! <laughs> Become me. Somersaulting Democrats in a crate of sauerkraut. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow. You crack me up, little buddy. Who's that supposed to be? Stop this foolishness. Attack the dog. Ouch. Become me. Somersaulting Democrats in a crate of sauerkraut. You crack me up, little buddy. Stop this foolishness. Attack the dog. <laughs> attack Brady Culture. No, attack the dog. <laughs>
become Brady Culture. <laughs> Do my evil bidding. Worship the videotapes. What nonsense. Attack the dog. <laughs> Attack me! Whoops! Ouch! Worship me! No, me, me, worship me! You're my minions, mine! Attack me! No, me! Attack me! Me, me, me! Yes! Oops! No, wait! I mean... Ooh, oh, ooh, ooh. Smart hey, move, hey. Sam! Ooh, you played ooh, him like a two-dollar glockenspiel! I learned all my best tactics in the first grade. I tried to send you semaphore signals with my ears, but you know how I always get the K and the V mixed up. You crack me up, little buddy. Well, I guess we should dehypnotize these poor saps again and be on our way. Let me! You know how I adore gratuitous violence! Well, that's that, Max. Another boot to the pasty ass of crime. Thank goodness this whole hypnotic mind control thing didn't go any further. That could have been really annoying. It's great to be on your show, Myra. I'm a huge fan. I just can't seem to stop watching for some reason.